Hi guys, it's Megan, your religious vice president. Um, so for the next couple of weeks uh, while we're out of school, we are going to be having virtual chapels. For the past um, five hours, I have been working on something for you guys. Um, it Unfortunately, we've been having a lot of technical difficulties, so um, we did not get to produce the whole thing. But you will be seeing a two-part series about our mission trip kids um, while they were, um, and everything that went down while we were in Peru. So before we left for Peru, um, we had a meeting and we were talking about um, the coronavirus and everything that was going down. And at that point, it was not as big of a thing. And so we had decided, yes, we're going to Peru, nothing is changing and um, we're just going to go trust in God and everything's going to be okay. So um, we went to Peru and we did a lot of amazing things. Um, we had three teams. We had a medical team, um, VBS team, and a construction team. And each um, area had a whole different experience, but a amazing experience, experiencing God and servitude throughout this week. And... Um, even into the end, whenever um, the coronavirus turned into something much bigger than we thought it was going to be, God uh, stayed with us, um, kept with us through the entire thing. And we were able to get home safely um, despite all the challenges that we faced. Um, many, many miracles happened throughout this entire experience. Um, we had um, trouble before, during, and after this whole thing, and now sitting here, it's, like, so surreal, like, wow, that happened, like, we impacted these people, and, like, now we're home, and, like, you're gonna, it's a memory now, but it'll always be in our hearts, and so, um, unfortunately, um, we're not gonna be able to hear all the interviews today, because, um, the technology all the technology problems uh i had a zoom video with um eight of our uh, students that were doing um the mission trip in peru and we had an interview panel and talked about all the wonderful things that happened there and all the miracles and um experiences that we had and um once we got done with the video the audio was not working <laughs> So then we started recording again and had them all record themselves on their own phones and send the clips so we could edit it together. Um, we have a deadline of six o'clock, so we weren't able to edit them all together in time. And not everyone was able to make the videos because they weren't home anymore. So um, instead of that, I'm going to um, have them uh, send the introductory videos. And um, for now, um, you're just going to see me talking and, um, hopefully, um, you'll be able to get to fully see our experience, um, for, for Peru, um, next week on Friday. Well, hopefully we'll have everything worked out back, worked out by then. Now let's hear from some of our panel and have them introduce themselves. Hi, my name is Alex Rod and I am a senior and I helped with the Vacation Bible School team in Britain Loves Peru. Uh, hello, I'm Nicholas Bishop. Um, I'm a senior and um, at I was working on a medical for a mission trip. Hi, my name is Anna Castillo. I am a junior at Burton and I worked with the VBS team in our mission trip to Peru. My name is Matthias Fernando and I did construction. Um, uh, so, uh, my name is Seth Wallach, and, um, I got the opportunity to go on this, uh, mission trip, uh, in the, pa in the past week. Um, uh, in 10th grade, and I got to serve on the VBS team. So, my name is Gabriel Molina, um, a sophomore, and I worked in construction. My name is Adriana, and I'm in 9th grade. Um, in the mission trip, I was part of the VBS team. And hi, I'm Megan, I'm a senior, and I worked in construction. We will also be hearing from Diana, who I believe is a sophomore, who is also working in medical. So next you're gonna hear um, a couple of 
um, descriptions of what they did in VBS, medical, and construction. <clears throat> so I'm going to describe the different kinds of services that we offered as, um, to the community for medical and stuff like that, what the clinic was. Um, so the clinic was ran like with three different options. There's a pediatrics, which is little kids. There was optometry, which is like um, glasses, people that need help with their sight. And there's like general medicine slash surgery. And um, it was put up in a different part. So like the first, well, the first three days was at a, was at a, at an Adventist church. And it was like, this really like poor part of the area. And that's where they were, that's where we were at at first. And then um, it was really cool. Like we would have people come up, like if they needed surgery, they'd come up to the top floor in the back room. And that's where I would be with Dr. Long. And um, I, was, um, I was working as the translator for Dr. Long. Um, so he would tell me stuff, um, like ask them where their pain is, I'd ask them those questions, and then they would ask me how they're feeling, they'd tell me how they're feeling, and what medicine we should give them, and I would explain it to all of them, like, I was just, yeah, just what a translator does normally, and, um, for eyeglasses, people would, like, do the eyeglass chart, and then they'd line up and wait for, um, Dr. Wong to see, like, okay, yeah, you need this, try these glasses, see what works, and, um, pediatrics was, um, with, uh, Dr. Alvarez, um, and she was helping a lot of cool, a lot of little kids, and, um, there was just like a huge wide variety like our youngest was that I saw was two weeks old a two week old baby and she had like an infection and then the oldest was like she was so old she couldn't even remember her name like it was it was super cute but it was, she was super old or she couldn't remember she remembered her name she couldn't remember her age so we thought she was like at least a hundred she was so old um and yeah, that's basically how medical was ran. And then on Thursday and Friday, we switched to like a more poor area and to a more um, in need part. And we went there and there was like tons of people. Like every every day we showed up, there was like 200 or 300 people just waiting outside. Um, so yeah, that's how medical was ran. So basically what we did, um, we built a church. And when once we got there, um, the foundation was already laid and the framework was already welded together. All we needed to do is lay block put concrete and rebar and basically it and um Mr. Long the older Mr. Long he taught us how to lay block and it was pretty cool because that was my first time ever laying block or doing something related to construction ever and it was a really fun experience because I um it was really confusing at first like we didn't do really good at first because like the block was never aligned properly and then um he taught us and then we got better and better as every layer progressed and we got three Maranathi guys working with us one was Juan he was from Mexico the other was Javier he was from Ecuador and the other one was Ramon and he was from Guatemala and yeah okay so for VBS um, we had to prepare even before we went to Peru, but obviously not everything goes as planned. But um, yeah, so we went to Peru for the first three days. We would walk 10 minutes to a local school. We would interact with them. We would talk to with them, um, give them the program, which was uh, songs, the skit, games, crafts. Um, the school had around 1,300 students in it. Um, but by the third day, they had to close down due to COVID-19. Um, but in the afternoon, we still did this a whole week. We did a little VB, a big VBS program for the community down the street from the construction. Um, uh, at first, only 10 kids came. By the end of the week, more than 70 kids came out. And we gave them gifts. We gave them bows, clothes, um, candy, little toys. Um, and we were able to spread our word. And by the end of the week, we would invite them to go. We invited them to go um, to the church, the, our team had built and they showed up so that's what we did for VBS. And those are all our areas from mission trip. So um, later on you'll be hearing about all the miracles that happened during our trip. Um, you'll get to hear about Machu Picchu our way back and how um, God got us back before the borders closed. Um, you'll get to hear about everyone's favorite memories and everyone's stories. But for now, that's it. Um, I'm sorry um, for how short it is, guys. Um, I promise you that we'll be more prepared for next time and hopefully we won't have as many technological issues. Um, stay tuned to hear about um, everything that happened on our way back to America and how God saved us 
literally saved us from being stuck in Peru for um, two weeks or even up to two months. Like it could have been really bad. And it's all thanks to God that this happened. Um, I'm just going to say a quick word of prayer to, clo to close. Um, hopefully, uh, next time, um, we'll be able to hear everything else that happened. Um, we might, um, we will have a video in the future that I believe Mr. Webb is putting together of our entire trip to Peru. And I will also be making a video about our way back, um, and everything that we went through. And, um, it's going to be really cool to see how everything played out. And I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, thank you for everyone that watched and participated and um, continue coming back for our chapels and you'll um, have a great experience. Um, please bow your heads for prayer. Thank you, God, for everything that you do for us, every um, thing that you have brought us and every miracle that you have given to us and all the promises that you give us. Um, please be with us as we um, experience this pandemic and Please help us to um, stay calm as we go through everything. Um, we love you and we praise you for everything that you do. And please calm our anxiety, calm our nerves, and um, just be with us every step of our day. And help us to um, cope with this new situation and help us to take this time to connect more with you and realize that this is... Um, this um that we're alive thanks to you or here thanks to you and help us to um just trust in you throughout this situation and if this is a signs for the end of the world also help us to be prepared for that um we know that every new thing that happens on this earth is just a sign that you will be coming soon and please help us to be prepared for that and thank you for everything you do for us amen now um I know it's really hard and kind of makes some people anxious being stuck in a house and um, not getting much social interaction. So try to connect with each other, call each other, um, try to have small Bible studies, um, get a group together, like use, use the technology that God has made available to us and use it for the good of God and we'll be able to get through this together. Um, there are so many things that we can do. Um, be creative, find something, reach out to someone, make a painting, become creative, and just just find something that is calling you and try to try to make something good out of this situation. Get some mental, get a mental break, get some mental rest, and um, you can always reach out to me if you have any concerns or need help with something and I'm only a call away. Um, you can find me on my email, my Burton email. Um, you can always contact your teachers as well. Um, uh, we're always here to help you with whatever you need, and for sure keep praying for everything that's going on. Um, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time.